Today I'm going to be playing in a higher stakes trophy tournament at Outer Plains Comics and Games. Every year they do a big celebratory Yu-Gi-Oh tournament to end the year with heaps of prize support. Last year they did a big tournament as a send-off to the old location that I first started my channel at, and although I didn't do very well, I got to open a bunch of free packs and pulled some pretty juicy stuff. All out attacks. Hey, let's go, dude. Monarch. Toon Dark Magician. Oh, damn. And a f Bro! Let's go. I never get to pull nothing. Yeah. Ulti, 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 ultra. Yeah. And I won a new deck box that I really needed badly. Uh, it's a deck box. I need a new one badly. Today's tournament is a $20 buy-in and we had 20 people show up. So we'll be doing five rounds of Swiss and top four finals. Be sure to stick around guys. This one, this one's gonna get pretty interesting. Today I am playing a sprite deck. If you didn't know what this deck does, basically it's filled with a bunch of these little sprite cards that summon themselves pretty easily and then once you get m multiple of them on the field you can make a big sprite and then the big sprite lets me summon out this frog from the deck and then if you have two of these frogs on the field you can stack them on top of each other and make the big frog and that's and that's how that's that's about it this frog can negate and destroy anything by sending itself to the grave and then i have this other guy called sprite elf which can revive it which can revive the toad from the grave and then i can just keep negating his stuff because it's not once per turn the deck's pretty well balanced it's got a lot of recurability and a lot of uh recovery potential in case um my opponent has an edge and it's definitely one of the stronger more metal relevant decks in the format so i figure i'd give it a chance uh as we're playing in a higher tournament all right so i got a pretty decent board set up let's uh let's see how this goes negate Oh, hell no! Negate! I'll take that. Alright, I don't have any more interruptions to negate any effects that he has, so I'm just hoping that my board stays sturdy. Ah! So even though my defenses were breached and my toad ended up getting destroyed, I ended up activating IP Mascarena to bring out my Crusadia Avermax, which my opponent wasn't able to get over because... So he was pretty much forced to pass it over to me, and the next turn I draw Magnumut, I activate my control to steal his Quiridus, and then he chains Branded and Red to target the Fallen and Albaz and tried to weave around my um, me taking his monster, um, and then I successfully chain Magnumut to banish the Albaz, fizzling the effects of Branded and Red and successfully stealing the Quiridus, and then I summon out my Beavers, make another Sprite Elf, and then bring back my Toad once again. And then at this point, my opponent doesn't really have any cards left on his field or in his hand, and I pretty much have him dominated. So we end up taking the first win and move on to the second round. Second round, my opponent decides to go first this time. He goes ahead with his combo, and I go ahead and activate Magnumut to disrupt him from fusing into Mirror Jade. And then he sets a couple of face downs. I go into my combo and get a full board without any interruptions. And I start attacking and doing a bit of damage. This ends up being a pretty good game as there's a bit of back and forth that goes on and good plays being made on both sides. I negate his Quiridus as well as his Branded Red because he activated it in the same column as my Infinite Impermanence. Towards the end of the match, I activate Mind Control to seal his Quiridus again. Activate the effect against him and then realize he only has like 200 life points left. So I just normal summon the Beaver and attack for game. Battle phase for game. <laughs> GG's man. And with that, we take the win for the first match. <laughs> Trying to get an ulti. Trappy. Oh, please, something good. No. <laughs> Next match, I'm paired against a Fluanderese player. I'm able to summon out my board uninterrupted with my big frog, as well as uh, two monster negates and a spell negate. Every card he tried to activate, I just ended up shutting down and negating. At the end of his turn, he was just left with this one little monster and nothing else. So I was able to keep the gas pumping, just summon out more monsters, get my big boys out. Ooh. That's kind of small. And with no additional defenses on his field, I was able to just absolutely annihilate this bird. I will attack. I ended up winning fairly quickly and proceeded into the second round. 
which went relatively similar to the first game. He starts by activating the map, banishing England, summon out Robina, and attempts to chain block me to weep around uh, Ash Blossom, but I had infinite impermanence, and I was able to use that to negate Robina's effect. He still adds England back to hand, and uses his additional normal summon to summon it, and attempt to use its effect to grab a level 7 or higher winged beast monster to his hand, which I am then able to use Ash Blossom to negate that. Next turn I go ahead with my combo without normal summoning a monster, weaving around the effects of his map. He does activate Macrocosmos, which does make it slightly inconvenient for me to play, as all of my cards are now being banished instead of sent to the graveyard. And he does try to activate Advent of Adventure, which I use my second Ash Blossom on to negate that. And he, at this point he doesn't really have too many notable interruptions for me, so I feel like I just kind of had the advantage going forward here. I feel like I just drew the absolute stones both matches, and I was able to easily win the match because I just got lucky in drawing the right cards. I didn't build my side deck to counter this deck, so I was a little nervous at first, but in this case it ended up working in our favor. Alright, I was going, just wanted to do a little uh, mid-tournament update. So we're currently 2-0, played against Despia branded deck first game, and then Flundery's second game, which are two decks I'm pretty familiar with at this point, so I opened up pretty good every time, and, and I don't think I really misplayed at all, and um, things have been pretty good so far. I mean, it's only a matter of time before I, like, brick or or do something stupid, so, um, but, you know, trying to be optimistic, it's going to be a longer day today, five rounds, uh, bigger tournament today, like, you know, it's a $20 entry, so um, stakes a little bit higher today, but that's what makes it exciting, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next, and maybe, maybe we can go far in this, who knows. Well, I spoke too soon, because my next opponent is Adam. If you saw my previous video, I showcased a first place Crystal Beast deck. This is that deck. Sorry for spoilers, but I'm going to lose here. There was no real way for me to get multiple monsters on the field to start doing combos because he activates Crystal Conclave to bounce my level 2 monsters back to my hand, and I can't special summon Druus Worm because neither of us have a dark or light monster in our graveyards, so unfortunately I just have to scoop this first game because I got Crystal Conclave twice in a row and uh, he was just able to one-shot me with the Rainbow Dragon next turn, so to be completely honest guys, I have no idea how to play against Crystal Beast. Alright, like, look at this. I sighted in Ooh, Dark Ruler no that's more, a good and one. for some reason just decided to go second. What the fuck am I doing? And then I kept using Imperm on his Pegasus, which did very little in terms of slowing him down, uh, and what's worse is that that I just had a whole handful of hand traps and no actual sprite cards to get a board going. Um, so I end up just getting one shot by the Rainbow Dragon. I just try to take this loss on the chin and hopefully I can finish in top four uh, with just this one loss. Next round I'm playing against Frank Vias. Frank Vias. He is my rival, my nemesis. He is playing a fish deck and typically the matches that we play against each other are pretty close so I'm expecting a good time. The first game goes pretty well, I'd say. I go ahead and make a, an ideal board with my funny frog, and as well as a carrot and my wallow, and pass it over to Frank. He normal summons a fish, and then attempts to special summon a shark from hand, uh, to which then I chain the toad to negate, and he chains called by, and then I chain the carrot. So, um, I get to get my negate, and he wastes his call by, and I was able to reborn it off of elf, and then I guess he doesn't really have much after that special yeah. effect. We'll go to game two. Okay. Game two was kind of nuts. There was a lot of back and forth going on, boards being broken down and rebuilt again. Uh, he gets out Cheng Ying and tries to banish my boys, uh, and then I chain Imperm to negate its effects and also deactivate the effects of his continuous trap, so I'm able to summon out Avermax with IP's effect. When summoned this way, Avermax can't be destroyed by card effects, nor can it be targeted, and also it gains a stat boost if it enters a battle. To weave around this, Frank summons out Zelantis, which can non-target banish everything. Okay, banish everything. Non-target banishing everything. Oh, no, no. This is the first time I've actually had this card used against me. So in hindsight, I probably should have just read the card instead of just taking Frank's word for it because he says that it banishes everything and then bring back all the banished monsters to the owner's side of the field. Owner's side of the field. That means I get the monsters too, um, not just him. Because I didn't read the card and thought that Frank would just uh, resolve his own effect fully, I just was at a huge disadvantage from here. I was able to continue playing uh, in the following turns, but I think that this was the key moment in which I was destined to lose this match uh, because because if I still had my Avermax, I think things would have been a lot more different. So, so we end up losing because we didn't catch this mistake, um, and we just end up moving right onto the round three. All right, so... Uh, I'm not entirely proud of what you're about to see next. We're about four minutes from time being called, and you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. So I do my thing, you know, summon out the two guys, make the sprint, 
send angler, bring out the two beavers, make elf, revive the frog, summon the toad, you know, the usual. And then, I activate my gigantic sprite effect. Uh, yeah. How long do we have to turn around? There was a better version. Like, if I could do it, I've never played in the previous 45 minutes. Effect. Good. Targeting gigantic sprite to gain 32. In a desperation to steal the victory, I summon out my red resonator, which when summoned can target one monster on the field and have me gain life points equal to its attack. So I target my gigantic sprite and have me gain 3200 attack with just minutes remaining. Normal summon. Effect. Banish from cost. Summon a fish from deck. I'll chain. Okay. New chain. Totally awesome. Beaver. I will go to battle. Yep. And to battle. Uh huh. Evenly. Chain. Okay. Main two. Mm hmm. So, this is when things get a little dicey. He activates triple tactics talents in order to steal one of my monsters. Assuming that he's going to try to take my elf to prevent me from reviving my totally awesome or my red resonator from the grave, I go ahead and chain the elf to revive a monster from my graveyard in order to get one last use out of it. And unfortunately, this is where I made a grave mistake. I'll target red resonator. And then... And then I gotta take first. Hmm. What does red resonator target? Card you control? Uh, oh fuck yeah, I'll take red resonator. Red resonator effect. Target again. No, I don't no, because it was on my field. But it's summoned already. It's the effect still goes off. On 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 summon it goes it goes off. I when, think, but I've, I've seen this about Guardian yeah, Primaris specifically. Yeah, Judge! Judge! You voted with Elf, I took it with Talents, I activated. Is there, is there, is there an issue? Yeah. Is there an issue? Yeah. Is there an issue? What's the timing issue? So, okay. okay. What's, what's the situation? Give me explain. Okay, Chain Link 1, Talents, take, Chain, Elf no, effect, what's, what's Chain Link 2. Who's doing first what? Okay. Yeah. First action is Frank. Okay. Talents. It's his turn. He activates Talents. He activates the ability to take. Okay. I activate Elf in response, targeting Red Resonator. Okay. Yeah. So I take and then, Red and Resonator then, and, then, and, then, and then, it then activates on my field, targeting Gigantic. And then it, re it resolves backwards. It resolves backwards. Yeah. So this, it's on yeah. the board. So this is this is on this is on the board. But then it says. Talents resolves. He gets to non-targeting take a card. So, he so can it doesn't matter it. that you don't control it. It's going to trigger under the ownership of whoever has it at the end of the chain. So in the new chain, because Frank has control of the card and the condition was met for the summon, it's going to trigger and Frank is going to use the effect. Yeah. Yes. That's how, yeah. It's just like Guardian Chimera. That's how, yep. Sorry, Red Red. Ooh. Do the banish, summon that fish. Mm -hmm. May I have an extension? Yep, yep. May I have an extension for that whole ruling? Yeah, you guys totally got an awesome. extra minute, uh, five minutes. Red was summoned yeah. in defense. Give you guys an Red was summoned in defense. The only and I'm already in main two. Uh, two waters. Two waters. Let's go. Uh, I will take mm -hmm. Toad. I will move to battle. You already in battle. I already battle. Uh, yeah. Uh, pass. Draw. Stand by. This fish is coming back. Mm -hmm. So much pressure. Um. Main phase. Mm -hmm. Activate Magnemote. Targeting blue. Special summon. Um, summon itself. Yeah, that's fine. I will. But yeah. Special. No effect. No effect. I'll go battle. I will attack. Totally awesome. Uh, yeah, you will. Still in battle. Double cross. Mm -hmm. Steal. Yep. Attack. Yep. Attack. Yep. Attack. Yep. And attack. Okay. You attack. So, oh, you I attack. So, so 30, 32. 32. I, I attacked with this one yep. over that guy. You already did. 13. So 32. Uh, yes. 45. Okay. Main phase two. Yep. 
40 cards. You got 32, and that's like what, 25 or 26? Two minutes. Oh, we hit him with the toad, that's right. It's like 300 or so of the toad. Normal effect. Yep. Target beaver. Uh. Oh my god. Okay. Pass. Draw. Stand by. Main. Mm. Normal summon lifeless leafish, lifeless leafish effect. It was on my phone, I just tapped it. Is that okay? Um, Is that okay? I'll chain Sprite Elf. Target Toad. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Angler effect? Um, I will chain Totally Awesome to get the Angler. Uh, cost, that's fine. Uh, this shark? This shark. Exit. Out. Mm -hmm. uh, activate. Vanish. Search. Hold on. Please refund. I got 30 seconds. On, on, on the summon of this, I'm going to activate Mannequin Cat. Yeah. So I can detach and then target a monster in your graveyard. So I. Special summon to your opponent's field, then I can special summon to my field monster. Okay, at the what same. is your target? That's uh, water, right? Any... Yeah. Camera. Hand decker graveyard. I'm going to target totally awesome. Uh, yeah, this one. Activate effect. Vanish for cost. Chain totally awesome. Yeah. Do you want to set? No. Okay. Overlay. Make Greg. Hey, yeah, time is around. Greg effect. Pop. Burn for half. I don't think it's still enough. It's but definitely <laughs> not enough, Cam. Yeah, okay. I don't expect it to be enough. Okay. Uh, yeah, good about it. Uh, it's That's already in. GG. Camera already won. It targets, right? Anyway. Good game, man. It doesn't target. It doesn't target. Non targeting. Destroy a water monster. It's still like. Jeez. What's in your extra deck? Nothing? Damn. Plenty of shit. I would have been able to single <sighs> summon next turn. A lot. There we go. There you go. Very well fought. So yeah, that was probably the most stressful match I've ever had. Um, going into time, everyone in the room all hovering around our table, just watching to see the outcome of our match. I hope this raw, unedited clip of the match helped capture the amount of anxiety I was feeling. I was really trying hard not to make any mistakes here. I hope I was playing fast enough. It's really tough to be put in this situation, but in this instance, we ended up pulling off a victory. Um, thank you so much to Frank for being such a good sport and a good opponent. Um, this one will definitely be for the books. And with that, we are officially 3-1. We're about to go into the fifth and final round. And if we can get a victory in this next match, then we will officially make it to top four cut with guaranteed prizing. All right, my final hey, opponent, James. Your little pussy belongs to me. This is like legitimately a boss battle. What it's feeling like right now? Um, I don't know, what's your, like, what's your record right now? Uh, I am 3-1. 3-1. Uh, losses out of, like usual. Gotcha. Yeah, so I'm also 3-1. This will definitely decide um, top four status for uh, for that. So let's try to do good. So I'm playing against James in the final round, who's playing Tier Elements. This was back during the Tier 0 format where this deck was running amok, so this deck was definitely very strong at the time. The first turn, he ended up milling like a third of his deck and was able to only get out the time three for Redoer because I had Magnumut in hand to disrupt uh, one of his graveyard fusing effects. I ended up taking the first game pretty easily. James ended up just scooping because um, he forgot to bring back time three for Redoer back in the standby phase. So we just don't waste any time. We just go straight into game two. The second game I didn't end up doing too well. I even drew into D-Shifter, which kind of sucked because James was able to just make this amazing board without any sort of interruptions, and then I draw the one thing that would just shut down his whole deck. And every time I try to do something, my efforts were thwarted. Um, this game goes by pretty quick, and we end up easily dominated and oppressed. So, so this game goes by pretty quickly, and it all comes down to this last game. This last game, I had in the bag, bro. 
Like I, fum I fumbled this shit so hard, it honestly hurts to have to edit this and show it to you guys. I had the perfect setup too. First, I pull out the old switcheroo, making James go second. And then, I open up D-Shifter, which basically just shuts down his whole combo, like he can't do anything. He ends up making Baguska and passes. Baguska basically says, as long as it's on the field, you can't do anything. It's basically a stall card. Thankfully, I have my infinite impermanence to negate its effects. James is rolling his eyes. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, maybe I might just win this one. Um, but I end up just bringing out the Soranir and the Swap Frog. And I don't. I can't do anything else. Like, I wish I had an extension beyond that, but I didn't. I was able to just attack with the Soranir, get rid of his uh, Baguska. And um, I was thinking about making Sprint, but because I activated G-Shifter, I wasn't going to be able to utilize any graveyard effects, so it would just be a useless card on the field. I did have a double cross to be able to steal something from his graveyard in case he activated a graveyard effect, but in hindsight, uh, it didn't look like I was able to do much considering Jane's ended up milling a bunch of tier names, uh, so one interruption wasn't going to be enough anyway. But in the end, we ended up hurting ourselves with our own D-Shifter because we weren't able to utilize our own graveyard. So unfortunately, after a long and frivolous effort, we ended up losing the final round, barely missing the opportunity in making top cut. But overall, it was a fun event, everyone had a great time, and we all got to play some fun Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, we lost unfortunately, it was very well fought, but now it's my favorite tournament of the night. Time to get some free shit! Martin's handing out prizes, we got the, the Spark Man. So many people got the Spark Man. The twenty dollars spark man. $20 Everybody got the twenty dollars spark man. This guy's amazing. He's a legend. Excuse me, I'm better. No, you two guys. No, I didn't. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I got body swept in two games. Yeah, he didn't misplay. <laughs> dude should have made top four. Gave 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 some games to people, but like, dude, just the the pure skill. It's just amazing, and and um, he's definitely not paying me to do this right now. Oh, okay, ultra rare. Okay, okay. It's not bad. It's better than a super. Yeah. Oh, so let's go. Let's go. Starlight. Let's go. Starlight. Hey, that's my name. Oh, oh my God, the squid, the calamari. Let's go. Oh my God, he won another one. Jeez. Here we go. Back to back. Back to back. Well, I mean. This was, no, I put was the, this was it, the really? super. Yeah, yeah. Run is third. He's that's actually, right. he might as well get some that, the, That's good in all the time. Oh yeah. my god, I won. I won a. I won, yeah. Man, right here. I'm pulling the pack. Oh Let's go. This is destiny. destiny. Big money, big man meat. That's what I say. <laughs> big money, big man meat. <laughs> big whammy. Really oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Dude, I got the Ultra Rare Sword Soul Taya. <laughs> First edition. <laughs> hey man, what'd you pull? Mega Fortress Whale! Ah! <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> nice. That's actually a sick card. I know it is. Damn. Look at all those. Jeez. You guys are you guys are stacked. Jeez. Oh my god. I got one pack. Fuck you, Cameron. <laughs>